This is Brian Jones, and I'm back at the PSD TV studio for another episode of Everyday Science. And I've got a couple of young scientists with me today. I've got Finley and Haley. You folks ready to do some science? Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. And uh, how appropriate for a television studio where we're surrounded by lights and with a lot of colored filters on it. We're talking about yeah. today, our topic is? How light has waves. Oh, oh yeah, we are going to talk about that. Should we start with that? Sure. Yes. So we're talking about light today, but when we were talking about this earlier, you folks said we should start out with waves because light is a? Wave. Light's a wave. And I want you to hold this up in the air, and you know what to do. You're going to twist it one way, you're going to twist it the other way, and then we're going to make a couple of waves here. And if you go directly opposite each other, in the center, go ahead and hold that up just a little bit higher so we can see it. In the center, there's a place where it's like not moving. This one right here, I can actually like even hold on not going anywhere. Ah, that's perfect. And look, in the middle, there's a spot not moving. not moving. So two waves, where they come together, if they're going exactly opposite each other, they make a spot right here that's not moving. We call that destructive interference. 